Hello, my beautiful loves of the world. It's me, Queen Nightmare. And I am telling you, I'm going to cry. This is the end of Love Potion class. And I'm really sad and I'm, and I'm really sorry, but here we go. It was lunchtime and both guys were hungry. But, of course, they couldn't leave Scorpius alone. Neither could they take him along as... He was still a newborn, and they had no other choice. They couldn't leave him with anyone else, as he wouldn't trust anybody other than the two of them. Harry had an idea. He took a long cloak and wrapped it around Draco's front, um, front shoulders and tr- tied it to the back of the other shoulder. The, <laughs> the construction made... Oh, <laughs> a little hold pouch so that they could carry their son around with them. Harry lay the sleeping Scorpius in the little pouch, but the boy started whimpering. He got attached to the little blank blanket already as if as it is the third thing in his new life that had made him feel comfortable and that is loved beside his parents. Oh my gosh. Scorpius, you're so adorable. I love you so much. um, Draco took out his baby, he took his baby out, wrapped him in the puffy blanket and, and him back in the boy nuzzled into the blanket making so peaceful looking so peaceful and innocent in this in his sleep the blanket gave him some extra head and shoulder support which was important harry put an arm around draco's shoulder and they went to the great hall for lunch they made it in time as everyone was getting started they sat at the Gryffindor table and piled up the food on their plates. It was surprising that Scorpius wasn't waking up from all the noise around him, though he was a little uh, already slightly whimpering. The Gryffindor and Hufflepuff... Seriously? You have to interrupt my recording, Grandpa. Sorry. I'm ranting. <clears throat> the Gryffindor and Hufflepuff table noticed the child and kept it down while the Slytherins were being loud, louder on purpose. The Ravenclaws didn't know about the child yet, so they were keeping at average. Draco was stroking his son's cheek gently, calming him down. Ron and Hermione were sitting by their side, and Hermione offered to take to make sure Scorpius would not wake up so his father could eat. Eventually, the mission was failed, and Scorpius let out a couple of loud whimpers that attracted attention from the staff table. Professor Dumbledore beckoned Harry and Draco to come to the table excitedly, spotting the child. The two looked at at each other and thanked Hermione for her and walked over to the table. All the teachers either stood up or were leaning to look at the little boy. Professor Dumbledore quickly, uh, carefully took the child, looking at him amazed. Wow, boys, he is going to be a powerful wizard, and he is beautiful. Congratulations. Well, the apple doesn't far f- fall far from the tree. Or the blossom now, does it? Harry wrapped an arm around Draco's shoulder, forwarding that he said towards him. Sure not. Dumbledore chuckled, and um, caressing the little boy's forehead in his ancient soft finger, the boy whimpered quietly. His facial expression tightened as he began to cry softly. (laughs) <laughs> Dumbledore rocked and hushed him back to sleep, putting a silencing barrier around him. 
he didn't want to uh, he didn't want the child to wake up as things were about to get loud. He stood up and announced, "Dear children, well, well, whoops, <laughs> fucked that up so bad just now." Okay, dear students, today we have s- someone new that had joined our company. In fact, only today he had appeared in this world. We have another young and talented potter. Dumbledore gently stood up with the child as everyone could see the little angel. Everyone gasped and then the whole room broke out with a loud cheers, claps, awes, and whistles. The two boys wish came true. They thought everyone would think weird of them having a child, but instead their son was welcomed into the world with lots of love and adore at ad- adornment <sighs> sorry i'm burping those were good ones ow that one felt like acid <clears throat> disgusting okay anyways eventually one of the lessons was voluntarily canceled there was more time to congratulate the two and the uh, the child the boys made it back to their room having skipped two or three lessons scorpius hasn't woke up since yet thanks to the silencing spell honey yeah i'm tired yeah me too scorpius will wake up soon i'll feed him then we can spend some time some more time with him before he goes to sleep. Then we can go to sleep too. Harry stretched his arm out and relaxed, re, re, uh, relieving his tired muscles. Oh, hi, Jojo. Hi. Come up here. Come on. I don't have food. Well, I do, but. Daisy, do you smell oranges? I don't know where that's coming from. She knows I'm bullshitting. Anyways, <clears throat> Scorpius will. Blah, 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 blah. Harry, yeah. You know, I, I was surviving through a very abusive childhood. I have been through a lot of manipulation and pain until I found, I found love with you. Thanks for the stupid class. Thanks to the stupid class, I, I now, ha, I now know how a beloved husband and a lovely husband are. I couldn't w- wish for any for more. Come here, Wiley. Wiley, come here, Wiley. Oh my God, they have three dogs. Come here, Wiley. Wiley's adorable. Wiley. Are you scared of me? <laughs> Do you want to come up? <laughs> he just walks away. Great. Love you too. Okay. I couldn't wish for more. Soon we will graduate and 11 years and 11 years later we will watch our own child leave to Hogwarts and meet their love there. Thank you for everything. Every single thing you did for me. <sighs> Hades done something big. <sighs> I love you. I love you too, babe. I wouldn't imagine a life more perfect. Everything is amazing on its own. And now... Everything is absolutely fantastic with you and Scorpy in my life. All I ever wanted was a family to care for you. Since I never had a family that I would care for, that would care for me. I love you too. The two kissed a beautiful kiss until they heard little, um, cute little, uh, cute little Scorpy, Scorpy crying from the crib 
Scorpius was awake and yet again calling to his parents for assistance in life. He would assist he would assisting a child of his own sooner than they think. Wait, what? <laughs> they know the future? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. They do have another one and it's talking about the end. Okay, I'm done. Remember to go to the original. The person has other stories, not mine. Wait, what? This isn't your story? Wish? What? You better be lying to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, this is the end of the video. And this is the end of Love Potions class. And I really hope that you liked it. I will put my Wattpad down below. But I did have a request of having... A Snape versus um, Snape X Harry kind of thing. Well, I need to let I need to you to let me know what I should do. Sorry, I have an itch on my head. Um, I need to hear your thoughts about what you think about it, and if you support a Snape X Harry, <laughs> a snary, I guess. Um, so it sounds like a snail, a type of thing. Anyways, um, I love you guys so much. And be happy, be healthy, and always be loving. Bye bye.